Good afternoon, we're here at Glenside Community Homes and we're doing an outreach for the community from the Rehoboth Seventh-day Adventist Church and we're here with Rochelle Blackwood. She is the area coordinator for our Allegheny East Pathfinder organization. Welcome. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Yes, tell us a little bit about why you're here with us, okay. uh, recruiting for the Pathfinder Association and some of the honors that are available. Okay, well, I'm here today with the Rehoboth Pathfinder Association Club. Um, what you see here on the table is an honor. It's called the Lego Honor. And what you do is basically, after you come and you sign up, and you join the Pathfinder Club, um, I would come out and I would teach, teach, teach this honor. What we have here is we have a structure. This is happens to be a castle. This would be one of your inanimate objects that you would have to make. Along with this, after you get, after I come and I test and get graded on this object here, we also would do a tree or we would do a bridge. Um, just basically something fun that would get the kids doing something together as a team. You do not have to be affiliated with any church to be part of this organization. We believe in reaching out to the community. We believe that all children should be involved in activities. We're similar to the Boy Scout, Girl Scouts, but we are the Pathfinders. And we can be found at www.aecpathfinders.org. Along with other honors that we do, we also specify in having the children do work that will edify their mind, work that will build character, work that will help them reach out to grab other children and pull them along the way. We don't believe that any child should be left behind. I believe the Bible did say that little children shouldn't be suffered to come to Christ. Jesus loved kids. And how did he say we would go to heaven? With the mind of a child. And that's what we like to adopt. We like to keep children included. We like to make sure that children and youth are loved and that they also have a voice. Now the Pathfinders, they are from ages 10 to 16. We also have an organization called the Master Guides. Master Guides are from ages 18 straight on up. So there's always a place for you here with us. So I'm here at the community center and I'm hoping that I see you at the community center soon too. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hi, good afternoon. We are at the Glenside Community Homes Community Center for our community service outreach. And we're at the health ministries table with two of our premier nurses of the Rehoboth Seventh-day Adventist Church. Hi, ladies. <laughs> and who do we have here? Marie Sorrell. Alma Nicholas. I just have a few questions to ask you all today. Thank you for being here, first of all. This is a very, very helpful ministry to our church and to our community. Can you share with us a little bit about what's on your table today and what you're sharing and doing? Well, we have um, information about diabetes, um, high, blood, high blood pressure, um, healthy eating, and um, information about the heart, healthy heart. Okay. Are you actually checking blood pressure today? Okay. Yes. Well, the numbers They've been good, pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have a question. Maybe um, this is something that you guys have thought about before because you're in this ministry, but why is health ministry so important to community outreach? Well, it's just forming relationships, forming a bond between you know the people. And when they get to know you and they trust you, they can then hear a message from you and what you have to say. And um, you invite them to church, you invite them somewhere, and they're willing to go because they know you and they learn to trust you and they build that bond with you. That's a great point. So I've heard that laughter is the best medicine, ladies. What do you think about that? Yes, it definitely is. I think it is. Well, I tell you, they've been laughing a lot. <laughs> they have joy here at this table and wonderful information. We thank you guys for being here today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hi, we're at Glenside Homes um, for our community outreach, and we're at 
Which table is this? The prayer warrior table. Wow, the prayer warrior table. So what exactly do you do at the prayer warrior table? We pray with those who have special requests. And we pray for families, churches, communities, and just any needs that anyone has. So this is really kind of a unique part of the community outreach today in that people can actually share their actual prayer requests and get prayer on the spot. Are you also taking written requests? Yes, we take written requests as well as those who come up and verbalize their requests. Okay. And you know, I failed to ask you what your name is. My name is Josiah Sorrell. Okay. And you're from the Rehoboth Seventh-day Adventist Church? Yes, I am a member of the Rehoboth Seventh-day Adventist Church. Now, there's um, several promises in the Bible that sometimes are used during prayer to just encourage people or give them hope. Can you share any of those scriptures today? One promise in the Bible is, the Bible tells us that God will never leave us nor forsake us. That's a really good one because some people in these, you know, common times now are really hopeless. So you're giving hope as well. Well, we thank you so much for being with us today and we pray for you as well because you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. So God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with another interview at another table. And good afternoon. We're here at the Glenside Homes and I'm here with our first elder, Elder Everett Thomas of the Rehoboth Seventh-day Adventist Church. Hi, Elder Thomas. How you doing? Good. We're glad to interview you today. Oh, thank you. What are the church members doing here at the Opaque Community Center of the Glenside Homes today? Well, today we came out just to give a little cupcakes and ice cream just to reach the children today and, and their family members also. So what we're trying to do is build a relationship with them so we can come back again another time and with a more ministry with the Bible and everything. We just kept it simple today. So just building relationship, it's, it sounds like, relationship. Yes, relationship first. Okay. okay. So what were some of the stations that you had here today? Well, the first station I enjoyed was the praying station over in the corner there. And then we had a health ministry over in this corner to our left where they checked your blood pressures and just, you know, help the people with their basic health needs. And they had water there at the table. And then we had the Pathfinders at their... Uh, in here where they were uh, had the little Legos okay. for the kids to build and be part of that program. And then we had, we had yeah, other right. tables here yeah, too. Yeah, I think you had a craft table. We had a craft table, okay. yes, I forgot about yeah. it. And then we just had a, just a social table where they just was doing everything over here. All but right. it's all about relationships. Oh, yeah. So you're hoping that Rehoboth will come out to this community center on a regular basis? and Yes, it's, we're gonna come out because in order for us to uh, reach the community, we have to build that relationship and continue day by day or week by week. So that's what's important. The people gotta know that we're here, not just this one time only, but we gotta continue to come in the community so they begin to trust us and then come in and that relationship and that bond, and then it's easier to tell them about Jesus Christ. Because that's our ultimate goal, that's is for them to learn. Goal. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time today, and thank you for your support. It's so important for the leadership of the church to support the ministries. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon from the Glenside Community Homes. We want to thank Sister Andrea Richards for her vision today. She had a vision for us to come out and reach out to the community and build relationship, and she has a lot more in store. So we want you to stay tuned as we share more from the Community Services Ministry of the Rehoboth Seventh-day Adventist Church. Thank you, Sister Andrea. Thank you.